in dress, we'll be going to new metric standard mm create. Select a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Starting off with a rectangle, make sure you select on the intersection point. Give it a width of 20. Select tab and give it a height of 3. Go over to the circle, give it a diameter of 6. Enter and select the tangent icon, the edge of the circle to the bottom edge of the rectangle and vertical constraint with the center points of each drawing. Change the sketch, extrude all the available surfaces to a distance of 30. Once you're done, select a new 2D sketch on the outside face. Have the coordinates to be 0, 3 by selecting tab to alternate. And diameter of 6. Finish the sketch and extrude. With a distance of 10, make sure that it cuts. Select OK. Now we will be repeating the pattern to the other side. Go over to rectangular, select the feature, go over to the direction, make sure it's the edge of the cube, the cuboid. Flip the direction, give a distance of 20, and select. Now we will be giving this material, giving the material to be a stainless steel, and the finishing will leave it as semi-polished. Now we will be creating the other side. Save this as left. Moving on for the other side. Same procedure, create on the XY plane. We can go back onto the first part to copy the first sketch. Once we go over to the second part, we can paste and we will repeat the extrusion again. Offset the plane from the outside, giving it a distance of negative 20, and start a sketch on the new plane. This time, have the coordinates to be 2, and 3 again by alternating tab, finish your sketch and extrude the distance of 10 to cut in the middle and OK. You remove the plane by doing so and select the material. Stainless steel, semi-polished finishing. Now we will assemble the two pieces together. Uh, first, we will save this piece as right. Now, assembly, we will be having a new file, metric, but this time on assembly standard. Create, and we can place the two files together. Hold down shift to select both, and open. Left click once, and escape. Over to view, object visibility, and check off all work features. Make sure you have the corner as the home view so that you would better visualize the hinge later on. And right click on one of the pieces and select grounded. Now we will put them together. Go into constraint, mid, select the circular surfaces on one side as such and apply. Moving on to insert, select opposed. As you can see, it didn't work when I was selecting the edges. It needs to be a perfect rod. So if I have to do the edges, the inside, it will line up and apply. Moving on to home, you can see now it's a hinge. It works, but it isn't very obvious. To make it more obvious, we can change the material of one of the sides. So for me, I'll be going to left, changing the finishing to blue. And now as you can see, it's an adequate level to show a hinge. And we save this file as hinge and you're done.